Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 34 weeks pregnant update. I'm excited to talk to you guys about what's been going on this week and I have a lot to talk about, so I'm gonna jump right in. The first thing that happened this week is I like right after I filmed my last video, I ended up having to go in and see my OB like the next day, I think, because I thought that maybe I was leaking amniotic fluid or something like that because it felt like I just wet my pants and I didn't feel like I had peed myself or anything and so I thought it was really weird so I just wanted to call in because everything that I read online when I was like kind of googling around to find out what I should do everything said that in that that type of situation you should always call and just make sure that everything's okay and you're not leaking amniotic fluid so I went in and she said that I was not leaking amniotic fluid she thinks that at this point in pregnancy that your discharge just gets to be um, a lot more frequently and just higher volume and also it can be really really thin and like liquid and so some women just have that and so she thinks that that's what I have. She doesn't think that it's that I had peed myself even though some women do pee themselves. It's, there's so much pressure on your bladder. She said she didn't think that it was that. I have never really talked about like discharge in my videos because it's obviously not a very um, <laughs> fun topic. It's disgusting on like what, on just, discharge is disgusting. So it's not something that I just like to jump on here and talk about all the time. So I've never really brought it up before. But in the very beginning of pregnancy, at least for me, there was pretty much no discharge. And then getting towards the middle of pregnancy and leading up to now like I feel like it just gets more and more and more every day and um, just like like I said thinner and thinner so like really liquidy and um, like to the point where you need to wear panty liners every day so that's how it is for me um, everyone is different but basically she said that I wasn't leaking amniotic fluid and not to worry about it recently it's changed again and now it's kind of like got like a yellow tinge to it, which I think could possibly be the start of me losing my mucus plug. And if you're unfamiliar with what a mucus plug is, it's basically a seal that is underneath your cervix to block any bacteria or anything from getting in and harming your baby. And so I think that little pieces of that, um, some people call it a bloody show and some people call it a mucus plug. And I think that little pieces of that are starting to um, come out and that's why I'm seeing like yellow discharge gross when I went in the very next day also I had lost three pounds and I knew that I was retaining water and I talked about this on my snapchat I like to do a play-by-play -play on snapchat so some of you guys probably heard all of this already I haven't told my OB about the fact that I'm not going to the nutritionist yet I think I'm just kind of not even gonna bring it up until she brings it up again so then I had a second doctor's visit yesterday and that's because starting like Two nights ago, at 4 o'clock in the morning, I had really intense cramps that woke me up in the middle of the night, and it felt exactly like what having a period cramp feels like, menstrual cramp, whatever. <laughs> it felt like that, and it was really painful. For like 30 minutes this was going on, and then I was like, okay, I should probably time these and, and make sure that it's nothing serious. So I downloaded an app on my phone, I think called Full Term, I think, and I downloaded that and I was timing my contractions, or I thought they were contractions. I was timing my cramps, and they were coming every five minutes and lasting for a minute long. So after an hour of that, I started looking online and like Googling, should I call my doctor, um, like is this normal, and seeing what else was out there. And what I came across was it said that if you're not 37 weeks, that you're still considered preterm. So if you're not 37 weeks, you should call no matter what because um, things like that can be serious up until your your 37 weeks and so I just um, went ahead and called and I told her what I was experiencing she told me that I had two options I could either go to labor and delivery or I could wait until she got to the office which was only in like an hour and a half from when I had finally made the phone call and so I woke up like 30 minutes before leaving and I had fallen back asleep because after I talked to her on the phone, I think my stress went down and so my cramps kind of started tapering off and I fell back asleep for a little bit. I set my alarm and I woke back up. I took a warm shower and 
my cramps started to feel a lot better already just by getting up and moving around and taking a shower and um, drinking some water. And so by the time I got there, I wasn't really having them um, as much as I was when I was in bed. And they hooked me up to a non-stress test, which has two straps that go around your belly. And the top strap is to monitor contractions, and the bottom strap is to monitor the heart rate. Her heart rate was perfect, and I was not showing any contractions on the machine. I was feeling a little crampy while I was there, but nothing like I was while I was in bed. And so the machine was not picking up any contractions. I sat on the machine for an hour, and she told me that I could go home. She said that it, they could possibly be Braxton Hicks contractions, but I'm not really sure if they were even contractions at all because my belly wasn't tightening a lot. And when you have an actual contraction, your belly really tightens down and you can feel like a really firm hold around where your baby is. And mine weren't like that. Mine were just like dull cramps and they, they were getting worse, but I didn't feel that tightening. So I am not really positive what it's from or what causes it. I think just getting closer to labor and your body starting to prepare um, and, and just the changes that are happening. But what I have noticed is that drinking a lot of water helps them to go away. Because when I got back home, after I was there, of course they came back. And so I... I had asked a lot of my friends who'd had babies before and a lot of them said that when they drank a lot of water that it helped them go away. So I started just drinking tons and tons of water, which I already drank so much to begin with. Um, so I know that I wasn't um, dehydrated, but I still think that my body for my pregnancy needed more water. So I drank more water and they went away. And um, they came back again that uh, last night and I drank some water again and they were they went away again. So it's kind of been like an off and on thing. And some people that I asked have never experienced it. And some women have really um, gone through the exact same thing. But I, I haven't found many people who've had this exact same situation happen to them. So if you felt something similar, leave in the comments. Um, I'd like to hear about it. Now I'm going to talk about symptoms and the first symptom that I'm really noticing this week is I just have a really achy, achy pelvis when I try and get up from sitting down or get up from laying in bed. My pelvis just feels like it's going to snap in half. It's so sore and tender. It just really hurts. A few days ago I had a really bad shooting pain that started in my heel and it went straight up all the way through my leg and so usually if it's your sciatic nerve it kind of starts in the like back of your hip like above your butt and it shoots down and this one went from my heel and shot up so i'm not sure what that was but it was only in my left leg i'm having a lot of back pain this week back pain is steadily every day i have a lot of lower back pain and i kind of figured out one of the reasons my lower back pain comes on and that's usually when i'm like um, doing something where I'm bent over forward a little bit like leaning down um, like washing dish dishes or bending over um, going through something you know and I really think that the reason for it for me is just because of the weight in front of my belly that my back is just holding you know my back is supporting all of that extra weight my doctor told me that I could go get a belly support band and I haven't gone and got one yet. I'm still considering it. I don't feel like I have very much time left to go so I just haven't decided on if I'm going to get one or not. But I think that that's what's causing my lower back pain. I'm also getting back pain that's even higher and like behind my shoulders and like if I reach across it hurts really bad. Um, it, it, my entire back is really in pain. I also noticed the other night when I was having a lot of these cramps that she was her movement was really decreased there have been a couple times where she just does not move at all and um, it scares me sometimes but I, I do have a Doppler so I'm able to check on her heart rate and make sure that everything is okay but um, it scares me sometimes when I don't don't feel her because we're just getting so far along that I don't know. I guess every symptom right now makes me wonder because I know that the next big step is 
labor and that that's coming up. And I, I just have had so many people, and I know that this is total hearsay and just people speculating. I know it means nothing, but I've just had so many people say to me, like, I really think that you're going to go into labor before your due date. And I think that that's just based on how big I am, which I don't think that really has anything to do with when you go into labor. But you guys know that she she dropped a week ago, and she's still been dropped. I've It's called lightning. I think I talked about this last week, but she's still really low. It seems like she's getting lower and lower. My ribs are completely cleared out. There's no more pressure on my lungs. And so she's been low for a while, and a lot of things that I've read said that once you go through lightning, once they drop down, that most women, not all women, but most women go about two to four weeks after that before they go into labor. And so that would put me at the most at going into labor around 37 weeks. But it could be different for me. My feet and ankle are still really swollen. Zell has been like sniffing me a lot and acting really weird, like almost a little bit depressed. And I talk about Zell a lot in these, but she's, she's really acting different. She's really starting to act very, very strange. I do have stretch marks and the ones underneath my left boob, I feel like everything's happening on my left side. Yeah, pretty much all my stretch marks are on my left side. Most of my pain's on my left side. It's kind of crazy. I'm left-handed. I don't think that means anything. But underneath my left boob is stretch. I have like three stretch marks. Looks like someone just clawed right underneath my left boob. I have the same thing on my left side. Kind of just looks like a claw mark. And then on my left inner thigh, I have them as well. Same thing, just a scratch. And so I have applied stretch mark cream, lotion, balm, everything, every morning and every night since, since actually before I was pregnant because I knew that there was a possibility that I could get pregnant once I stopped taking birth control. So I've been doing this for a pretty long time now. So um, my mom never got stretch marks and I don't know. I somehow have got them, but I'm not like too upset about them because they're not in any locations that are just like really intense. And I have six weeks left, so there's still plenty of time to get more, but right now I'm not too upset about it. I've been pretty exhausted being on my feet a lot. I, ha I tried to join in and do things with people like we went to Top Golf, and I could only play like for... I don't know, and maybe an hour and then I was done. But I've gotten to the point now where like I, I ask people for help with things. I, I It took me until now, but this is a week that I really, really, if I need help or if I, if someone's in the area, like my mom's here with me right now or, or if Nick is around or somebody and um, I need something or there's something that they can do to help me out with and they offer, I have finally started being like, please help me out. Yes, I, that would mean a lot to me or um, it's, it's taken me a long time, but I think that I finally am okay with people stepping in and helping me rather than me trying to do everything myself like I have been this whole time. The other night, two nights ago, the night, like right before I started having all my cramps, I had no appetite that whole day and that was on Monday zero appetite. I ate because I knew I needed to and because like I went out to lunch with my family and we ordered food so I ate because it was in front of me but I was not I was never really that hungry on Monday at all and that was before those cramps started happening and so my appetite's back now but I thought it was so strange that like for an entire day I just did not was not interested in food. The thought of food even made me feel sick. It was weird. I still have nausea mostly in the mornings, but it's been coming now really all the time. On Monday, that same day, I was having a lot of nausea that day as well. And it's something that still comes up every once in a while every day. Yesterday, I, I think in my last video I said I thought my boob, like the size of my breast, had gone down. And then Yesterday, I was putting my lotion on at the end of the day, and I was um, putting it on my boobs, and I was like, dang, like, I feel like they've, <laughs> in the last week, or maybe just in, like, the last 24 hours, they seem to have really, like, swollen up, 
and I think now they're starting to get bigger again. I am having sharp pains and they're super random. Like if I try to get up really quickly, if I move really quickly, kind of like the beginning of the pregnancy whenever I was having round ligament pain in my lower abdomen and just like kind of just around where my belly is. I was having it and that type, that same type of thing is coming back now. I did have two sharp pains yesterday and I had them on Monday and then I had them again yesterday, like up here underneath my, like on my right side, underneath my uh, breast, just like in my ribs, like just a, like a little bit of a sharp pain. When I, like if I breathe in really like deep, getting a sharp pain right there, kind of like where my lung is, I think. And I used to get that a lot when I wasn't pregnant. I haven't had it throughout the whole pregnancy, but I um, thought that was interesting. And I know that that is a symptom of preeclampsia, but I haven't had blurred vision and my swelling has gone down and my, there's no protein in my urine. So I don't think that I have preeclampsia. I did mention that I was, I think I mentioned on my Snapchat, right? And I mentioned last video about like the grooming situation. And I did get an electric razor. It's the Philips Perfect Bikini. And I do have to say, I'm a huge advocate for it. I highly recommend it. I got it at Target and I love it. So if you've been thinking about getting one, that's the one I would get. After like a few weeks ago, I had talked to you guys about um, how I used to take Adderall. I started thinking about it again randomly the other night because um, I had like a minute to myself. Nick was picking up his parents at the airport. Um, I was by myself and I just um, had finally had a minute to like sit down on the couch and just chill. I didn't even turn the TV on. I was mostly just messing around on Snapchat and hanging out with my dog. And um, it somehow popped in my head or I think someone may have asked me like, hey, are you gonna go back on Adderall after you are done breastfeeding Skyla? And I asked Nick about it and what he thought, if he thought that I should. And, um, we just were talking about it and Nick said that I have a completely different personality when I'm on it and that I'm a completely different person and that now that I'm not on it I'm really a lot more laid back and um, just he said more fun to be around so I have not decided yet I really don't want to go back on Adderall but I do notice a huge difference in my work ethic from when I'm on it to when I'm not on it I'm very easily distracted when I'm not and um, I tend to procrastinate a lot and put things off when I'm not on it. So I don't know, but if I do go back on it, because um, a few of you guys have asked me this, and if I do go back on it, it will it'll it won't be until after I'm done breastfeeding. Because even if the doctors said that it didn't transfer through your breast milk, I don't trust that, and I just would never. I just would never, because I think that Adderall made me lose some of my memories. That's a whole other story, but. So, so I went online and I just wanted to research like what are the long-term effects for people who took Adderall for years and then just stopped or um, what, you know, do am I going to have any long-term effects from all those years that I was on it every single day. And the, the main thing that I came across is that it said after you've been on off of it for a few months that everything goes back to normal. And so... I just don't necessarily know if I want to go back in that direction. But it also said something that I thought was really interesting, that if you stop taking Adderall cold turkey, that it'll really mess you up psychologically for a few months, and that you'll have a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and depression, and that you'll just be really on edge, like, it's basically like having withdrawals, which sounds such, so, you know, like, like you're a drug addict or something, but that's, that's a whole nother story. Um, cause I kind of, <laughs> Adderall can be very addicting, especially for, even if for people who don't need it. But I was reading that and I just, um, started thinking back, like I did stop taking it cold turkey. So I was like going through a couple of my few first videos that I ever posted and I was talking so much about anxiety and like, I could just see myself going through so much anxiety and stress. And I was just wondering like, how much of that was from like my being pregnant and how much of that was because I stopped taking Adderall cold turkey and I didn't know that I needed to wean myself off but when you get pregnant you really don't have an option of weaning yourself off of Adderall if you do my doctor didn't say that so um that's just something if you're not pregnant and you're and you're trying to conceive and you're on Adderall or something like that or you know someone who is um, let them know that they might be going through a lot of stress and anxiety in the beginning when they stop taking it.
totally off topic sorry guys I had my baby shower on Saturday and it was so much fun I will put a link to the video because I videoed the entire thing and I'm it was so it was so great my friend Carrie um, planned the whole thing she has a design company she did the design for my wedding and she she planned the whole thing she put the whole thing together the whole concept was her idea and I just it was so beautiful and it was so much fun and if you're watching Carrie thank you so much it was just absolutely perfect and if you watch the video you know that I, I just took random bits and pieces from when we were opening gifts because I didn't want that video to be all you know you guys would be have been sitting here watching for so long if I would have filmed that entire gift opening process. So I just took some random clips here and there. It was just meant to be like an overview of the baby shower. So I really didn't go into detail about anything that we got, but I will be putting up a separate video talking about all the gifts that we got. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout. I talked about last week that I was doing a giveaway on my Instagram. If you haven't entered that, go ahead and head over to my Instagram. There will be instructions on how to enter in the details below the picture. Good luck to everyone who's already entered. It's a really cool giveaway and they're giving away some really cute products. Now I'm going to talk about a few products that I have for myself and Skyla that were not shower gifts. These are things that I have accumulated from the past week aside from the shower that I wanted to share with you guys. Starting out for me, um, one of my friends told me how much she loved this product and I, when she explained it to me, I was in love and I instantly had to go to their page and read more about it and I ended up getting one. It The company is called Lalabu, L-A-L-A-B-U. That's what the brand looks like right there. And what I got from them is this Soothe shirt and I got mine in black and I got it in a size large because the way that the size chart goes, it's by your cup size. And my cup size is probably gonna get pretty big when I'm breastfeeding. And and so black size large and I what it is is a, it's a pouch so it's a breastfeeding tank it's a tank top but the baby fits in the front pouch like this and my friend Kayla said that she used to live in hers and I just thought that it was such a great idea because even though you could get like a wrap or something and carry your baby that way which is cool too I liked the idea of just having it on a shirt because that's like I don't know it's just it's I think it's a really cool concept and I think that it's a little bit more I don't want to say it's more secure because that makes it sound like wraps aren't secure and I know that they are but this just makes it seem like they're just so much even just like one step closer to you and I really liked the concept so I'm really excited to try it out I'll be posting pictures of myself and Skyla in this once she's here and I'll let you guys know how it works for me. I was in Babies Are Us yesterday or the day before um, just picking up some final things that I needed that I, or that I wanted to have here before Skyla got here that, um, that were on my registry but that did not get purchased. And so it was only a few things but one of them was this mommy hook. And actually, no, this, I don't think this one was on my registry, but while I was there, I saw this and wanted to pick it up because it hooks onto your stroller and then you can hook bags and your diaper bag and your purse or whatever you want to hook onto your stroller. So I'm like really excited about this. I think that the mommy hook is probably a must have. These were on my registry. They are Medela quick, quick, quick clean wipes to wipe my breast pump shields and just to kind of keep everything clean. I'm just going to keep this in my breast pump bag. I thought that this was um, definitely a must have. Lately I've just been really getting everything ready and trying to get everything done that I possibly can because at this point, um, like I'll be 35 weeks on Monday and so at this point it's just kind of like anything could happen at any time and I just really want to be prepared and have everything done so I'm just trying not to put anything off. Just get everything done so that if Skyla does come early, especially because of all of the symptoms that I've been having, you just never know. Um, so that's why I've kind of got all of these last minute things done lately. The last thing just for me is these Soothies gel pads. I read about, these were on my registry as well and I picked them up at Babies R Us. They're, um, I think the way you say the brand is um, Lansino and I just heard that they're really, really good if you have Tender, painful nipples, they help soothe your nips. Now to stuff for Skyla. I got a lot of things um, in my peel box for her and 
I'm like overwhelmed with how many people have sent her things. It's just like so sweet and it blows my mind like how giving and caring so many of you guys have been and um, it just, it means a lot to me. Oh, this, this one I got at Babies R Us when I was there yesterday because I, um, I had registered for a few gowns and I didn't get, I only got one and so I wanted to make sure that I have a lot of gowns because gowns for infants, especially for infants, are one of the easiest things you can put them in because since it's just an, the bottom is just open, um, you can just lift it up to change their diapers and it's just less hassle, especially for the middle of the night. Um, I just thought that this would be, I just needed some more, so I think I have a total of like, one, two, three, four, four or five, like five is I think a good number to start with. And so this is what they look like. They come in a two pack and they're at Babies R Us, so I picked them up. They also have the mitten cuffs so that they can't scratch themselves, which I really like. You guys notice that my mood today is like so, Every single time I come on here on the and do these vlogs, like my mood is so different. I've come on here before and just been like so animated. I've come on here before and been like depressed. I've come on here and been a bitch. <laughs> I've come on here and been a little pissed. Um, and today I feel like I'm just like chilling. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's it's weird like seeing myself because every week I seem to have a completely different personality. <laughs> ah, pregnancy hormones. These were a gift from Southern Sweetheart Gifts. This is what their card looks like. And they have an Instagram, <laughs> they have an Instagram shop, they have an Etsy shop. And they made Skyla's board that, um, for their, it's a chalkboard for her, her monthly updates. They made that for her and then they just started offering onesies. And so they sent me two onesies for her. And this one says Mermaid Life and it's got gold glitter and like a coral color so I think this is adorable and it's a three to six months which is awesome this one is um, same company and it says that bow though in sparkly gold glitter and black so cute thank you guys so much for sending me those Kyle's gonna get a lot of use out of them another Etsy shop sent me the name of the shop is called Obsy Daisy and it's A U B S Y Daisy, D-A-I-S-Y, and um, her daughter, the shop owner's name is Julie, and her daughter's name is Aubrey, which is so cute. Um, she sent me this little onesie, and that's pink glitter, if you can't tell, with Skyla's monogram, and I'm going to link her shop as well as everything else that I talk about on here in the drop-down box, just like every week. Thank you so, so much, Julie. It's so cute. I'm so excited to put Skyla in it. You can probably hear like a hair dryer noise in the background and that's because I have this really cute um, wisp bear and it's just, it's called wisp bear and it's a humming bear and it comes in this really cute pouch but basically what it is, is it's a little bear that you can put on in their crib or on the side of the crib because these little feet have magnets. You can choose different colors, um, like for the inside of their feet, and it's just like a cute little bear. It starts making this noise that it's making right now. Whenever your baby starts crying, and this is on for like 40 minutes. So I somehow made it go off, which is why you can hear it right now. But it goes off for 40 minutes until they stop crying. And then once they start stop crying, it goes into like standby. And then if they start crying again, the bear will go off again and help soothe them back to sleep. <laughs> so I really love this. I can't wait to use it for Skyla. Um, I think it's a really cool concept and I can't wait to see how well it works. While we were at Babies R Us, my mom um, could not resist getting these two things for Skyla, which is like insane because she has so much stuff, but um, she could not resist getting these two. This is like a side snap onesie with little lace details on the wrist. And then it has footies and it's leopard print and it's three months and it was at um, Babies R Us and it was $11.99. And then she got her this one which comes with a hat and it says welcome to the world. And it's also a side snap onesie with footies. 
This company, the Ollie Swaddle, sent me a swaddle for Skyla and I have to say that the packaging impresses me so much because it looks like a little storybook or something. It's just like, it's like a magical, the, the way that they did their wrapping is magical. Here's what the box looks like and when you open it up, this is your swaddle. I picked out the lavender one and on the back it has, well first, it comes with its own laundry bag so that when you wash it, it stays nice. How cool is that? And then it also comes with a little thank you card underneath. The packaging is to die for. And then on the back, it'll tell you exactly how to use the swaddle, which is perfect because I have no idea what I'm doing. Thank you so much to the Ollie world. I'm so excited to put her in that. Here's two other things that I picked up at Babies R Us that were on my registry that I wanted to have because I think that it's good to have on hand because if there's ever a night when she's screaming and just can't find relief from something, at least I have different options to try and soothe her. And this is Little Remedy's gas drops, gas release drop, gas relief drops. Now I do also have gripe water. Um, I don't know how much different they are. They're probably very similar, but I just wanted to have both options because when I was doing research online, I just heard that this one works really well and the gripe water works really well so I wanted to try them both out. I also picked this up because this was on my registry as well but it's a Frida Baby Wendy and it's a gas passer and basically um, you kind of just put it in their butt and it helps relieve gas somehow. Now this is probably going to be my last resort because this doesn't sound very fun to do to your baby. But like I said, if there's ever a night that she's just completely miserable and you can't figure out what's wrong, I think that it's good to have a bunch of different options to try and soothe them. The last things that I got are from my friend, Jazzy, and she has a, her company is called Jazzy's Creations and you've probably seen them on Instagram because it's there. She is a very, very popular brand and it's, she's very viral on Instagram. And she sent me a couple of things for Skyla that I'm in love with. She's sent me so many phone cases and cool things over the years. She specializes in phone cases, but she does a lot of other bling things. This time she sent me a phone case that has a, one of Skyla's ultrasound pictures on the back, which I thought was so sweet. And then she sent me this phone case that matches my diaper bag. And I'm going to hold my diaper bag up next to it so you can see like how perfect they match. This is my diaper bag which is totally full right now so it's heavy and then that's my phone case. And then the other thing that she sent me is two um, Philips Avent pacifiers that she blinged out. And she told me that she made sure that these jewels are there to stay. They're not going to pop off and cause any choking hazard but I still We'll be monitoring Skyla anytime that she's using pacifiers or anything like that because it is important to always keep an eye on your baby. Just want to say that. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my 34 weeks pregnant update. I really appreciate it. I can't believe that time has, fl time has really just flown and we only have six weeks left to go. If that, I guess unless I go over my due date, which I really hope that doesn't happen because that would be miserable. <laughs> but um, I will see you guys on Friday for my Follow Me Friday vlog. And don't forget to stay tuned. I have a lot of other things coming up. I have a try-on haul coming up. I have my hospital bag video coming up and as well as my What We Got For Our Baby Shower video. So there's a lot of really cool things coming. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I totally forgot to show you guys my bump, so here it is. Here's what my bump looks like with the top on from the front for 34 weeks. From the side, I can't tell like if it's gotten to that point where it stops growing or if it's still getting bigger every week. And that is a line from my maternity pants because they're getting very tight. So here it is from the front. From the side, wow, I should probably stop wearing these.
from the side and my stretch marks are kind of like right here I think I don't know if they'll show up but that's where I think they are and the other side 